Hi, Lee Phillips here. I want to talk to you for a minute about how a child's divorce affects your trust or how the child's divorce affects my trust. And the short story is it shouldn't affect your trust if your child gets divorced. Because generally in a trust, the in-laws, the outlaws, they're not even mentioned. They're not taken care of. I'm going to leave the property to my children and divide it three ways equally amongst the three kids. If one of those children dies, their share would go generally down to their children. So it goes down the family tree. And the in-laws are not even mentioned in the trust. We usually don't take care of the in-laws or provide for them in the trust. The reasoning is, if I take care of the little kids, my grandchildren, which have my blood, then the outlaw, the in-law, can that relieves the financial responsibility to some degree for the, for the parent, the surviving parent. And they're going to go off and they're going to marry some rich dude or rich gal or whatever, and they can take care of themselves. I want to take care of the little grandkids. My, my, my issue is what we call it. So we very seldom talk in a trust about the son-in-law, the daughter-in-law. If there's a divorce, you should, the, technically, the divorced ex-spouse could be a creditor of, the, of, of my child. And the question is, do creditors have access to your trust? And the answer is, it, they shouldn't. You need to have what's called a spendthrift provision in your trust. And basically it says that the, the, the child or the beneficiary can't anticipate their inheritance. They can't contract away their inheritance. It's not subject to their creditors. It's a little paragraph in the trust, and I can send you a copy one if you want, but uh, <coughs> there's a, uh, a little paragraph that goes in the trust if that paragraph is there, it's called a spendthrift trust. And so it prevents the creditors of the beneficiaries from claiming that this kid, your son or daughter, are going to get an inheritance and so we should get a piece of it. The spendthrift provision is very important. Uh, it's not specifically put in there for the divorce situation. Uh, the divorce situation is also going to be an inheritance, let's say. In most states, an inheritance is not considered in a divorce. It's outside a divorce. Property that you brought into the marriage, property that you've inherited is outside of the divorce usually in, in most states. So uh, even if we try and say, that we're going to get an inheritance or we've got an inheritance, then that asset shouldn't be included in the divorce proceedings. So you don't really have to worry about your son or your daughter getting divorced, at least not from your trust standpoint. And don't worry about that. You don't need to redo the trust in 99.9% .9 of the cases. Just go on. Uh, take care of the emotional, the collateral damage of the divorce as best you can with your child, but the trust isn't a worry to you in a divorce. Uh, get my explanation, my ebook on how to use a trust, and we go into this a little bit, so you can get that. Now, don't forget to subscribe and like and press the button and, and do whatever else we do, but you don't need to worry about the divorce and how it's going to affect your living revocable trust. No effect.